Thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to navigate you through a little bit of this video. There was three segments that I shot and put together. The first one, my neighbor Stacy and I, we head up to Barron to do a little practicing. Stacy Teeters and I are making it happen. Barron River Lake. What's up, Stacy? There's keeper number one, Barron River Lake. Thanks for coming with me, buddy. Good morning, Stacy. Oh, good morning. You look, Sunshine. You look pretty good, dude. I'm tired as hell. How many hours of sleep did you get? I got about an hour and a half, maybe max. I don't know. You know, strange places, strange voices. It was the weekend at uh, the old, what's it even called? Town Inn. The town Inn. Oh, yeah, should have started earlier, but hey, that's okay. Uh, you know what? The early bird can have them. It's not that big enough. I've never even eaten a worm, so I can't even tell you that it's uh, delicious. But I do appreciate you wearing your Ben Green and Turns Agency. I see that I'm sporting today. That's pretty awesome. Yep, let's try that again. There it is right there. I'm going to give that exercise. Then the green. That's what Just want to give a shout out to Driftwood Custom Baits for hooking us up with the tip on the pink fluke. Thanks a bunch, Robert. Hope you're feeling better. Hey Stacy, what just happened? We're making progress. In this second clip, you're gonna see somebody that many of you might know, Michael Bean. Michael is local to the Barren River. I drew him, I was his co-angler at Chickamauga. I told him I had this BFL coming up and uh, that I didn't know anything about the Barren River. So Michael was kind enough to have me come up and hang out with them for a day. Enjoy this clip. Big thank you to Michael Bean for showing me around the Barren River. Let's see how practice goes and ultimately the tournament day. I may not always catch fish, but when I do, I put them on Facebook. Look at the little belly on that one. Orange crawdad, kind of putting together some clues here. We'll see what happens. We're having all kinds of fun out here. There she is, beauty. If you like watching me catch small fish, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks everybody. All right, out here at Barren River Lake. Finally got on the board after working all day. Probably about a, a high two, maybe a three. Good job, helper. The old drop shot, never fails. There we go. Everybody. Family dinner. Everybody was wondering about the wild parties that go on for tournaments. Tournament anglers, live, wow. right What's here. Up? Josh Bolin and Mike Rader. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? I'm doing good. It's tournament day. It is derby day. I'm ready. You can put your fine. sunglasses on if you want to. Basically, he's got the sun in my face at 3.30 in the morning, but I'm excited to go. Uh, it's going to be warm, but we'll be on him today. Let's do it. Awesome, buddy. Tony, thank you very much for another great place to stay. I can't see. You can't see. <laughs> All right, buddy, we're going to get out of here. Yep, ready to go. It's going to be a hot one today, but uh, we'll see how the fishing goes. Got yeah. a few spots. Not sure what we'll end up with. Maybe eight pounds, maybe 20 pounds. Who knows? Live wells are iced up. Here we go. Iced up and frosted.
I got this one little pumpkin seed. Thought the camera was charging, but apparently it wasn't. It's a million degrees outside today. Just checking in, little quick halftime update. How you doing, Andrew? Hi. <laughs> Where are you from, buddy? Berea, Kentucky. Nice. We're gonna take a look at our fish and see what we got going on. One that's got a pretty good size back in there. Andrew's got a fishing live well. We're gonna get back at him, what do you say? All right. Couple options. You can go back and do another wall like this. I got another one. Um, they're going through my head. I can do that. We could go grab some ice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get an interview with Andrew. It's like 106 degrees out there. Hopefully you can see that. And so, I'm not sure he's gonna be able to do an interview. However, I've gotta say something. That young man sat there the whole day and fished. He did not sit down. He did not ask to take a break in the shade, even though we were fishing a lot of shade line today. He's a trooper and uh, he caught one fish, which was awesome. First fish of the day, first three minutes in it. Yeah, and he was awesome on the net. I mean, he, he jumped right on the net. We had one of those experiences where you just enjoy the fact that you hooked the fish and, uh, and I'll have a fishtail for a long time. All right, Andrew, how'd we end up? Very hot and only one little bitty hoe fish. <laughs> oh man, that was tough, that was crazy. Thank you very much for the net and, uh, and all your inspir inspiring words today. I got so many compliments on things. <laughs> I didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get complimented. Yeah, two big old surprises come off. That's pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Shoot, yeah, it was. Right in the silhouette of the sun. Yeah, we saw that big one. Ones too. Just say, really see you later, gentlemen. Go that was on. crazy. Well, hey, thanks a bunch, buddy. Yeah. Usually I film my whole entire day and tournament. However, I couldn't get the GoPros to work. It was hot, they were hot, and I thought I really had a shot at winning this tournament. I wanna let you know that we saw and have a very good visual estimate of came off on the one ounce jig that I was throwing. My co-angler looked at me at the end of the day and gave me an awesome compliment and I appreciate it, Andrew. He said, anybody else would have flipped out right now. Why aren't you flipping out? You could have won this thing. And I said, Andrew, I got to meet my buddy, Josh Bolin, who helped me out, come up here with Stacy Teeters, hang out with Michael Bean and see how he does some things, learn from him, come out here and catch the fish that I did. Ultimately, Andrew, I got to meet you as well. Thanks all. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.